All right. Good evening. It is Monday, uh, September 27th, 2021. There's Carrie. Almost October. Almost October. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. And it is vlog 135. It is Monday. And actually, yeah, it was this last weekend was pretty good. The last time we uh, where we left off was Friday which actually that night I left off going to the BBC which was pretty fun we went I just just right here like in walking distance down to the pier is what we call the Belmont Brewing Company and it's been there for a while and uh, I guess the workout crew decided not to do the second workout and go have drinks and food for instead so it was cool I had um I had the med burger i don't know if i've had that before but it was really good mediterranean burger it's really good bbc so that was friday night um saturday uh let's see morning appointment with donna oh yeah donna wow this is a crazy story she's donna um i used to see her all the time because i'd have a lesson and then right after kip would have a guitar lesson with Donna's niece and I would see her all the time but Donna had bought a hand pan previously like about three years ago three or four years ago and uh, I just known her coming in all the time and actually gosh I just learned that her husband died that was kind of crazy and but she came in to get a new ukulele and yeah it's been a while since I've seen her but it was cool. Um, she wanted to start playing ukulele too. She just saw Jake Shimabukuro and uh, and got inspired. So uh, she got a Cynthia Lynn model. I hooked her up and she's good to go. She actually bought one of the case stands too. So that was kind of cool. She was down. Uh, Uke social with Nikki afterwards at the shop at DAI. And ended up, she ended up staying and just staying on the live show. So we just jammed a few songs and just kind of talked about ukulele. It was kind of fun. <laughs> so it was good times. Gave some good tips and tricks. Sang a couple songs, and I think we talked. I've talked about position, and she just changed her strings on her uke, going from uh, high G to low G. And actually, she loves it. It's kind of crazy. It was kind of scary for her, and I did it that day. And then, oh yeah, that's what we did that day. I changed her strings, and it was cool. She liked it. And then Saturday, we chilled out the rest of the day. I was tired that day. Um, Sunday, clean house, because Jewel and Darren were coming over from up north. Actually, they were in San Diego, and they were driving up. And I think going back to Sacramento, but um, Joel and Darren, and it's kind of funny because it was a year ago that we had seen them, and yeah, they're doing good. Um, I keep seeing Joel on, like, we just keep um, in soft touch with each other because we, we kind of always see each other at least once a year. It's kind of funny, even though she's up in Sacramento, but she came down and we hung out last night. Um, we had dinner. Um, and just hung out. It was kind of cool. Brought over Piper, uh, her puppy that didn't like us at that time, but now she's like, puppy was all good. But oh my god, scared the kid and Kitan so bad. It was crazy. Kitan was so scared. <laughs> he almost the wow. He took he he tripped out. He jumped, hit the ceiling, and literally hit the ceiling and fell straight to the floor. That was crazy. Poor kid dog. But he's he's good now. But that was fun. Uh, good to see Jewel. I think she's coming over soon. So that's why I'm doing this. It's like, actually, it's 8 o'clock right now. I just finished leftovers. We had Mexican food from Enrique's the other day. And that was pretty good. I loved, I had their chicken enchilada, was was good. And then a beef tostada, which I just finished with beans and rice, of course. And yeah, it was good. Um, but Enrique's never been there. Yeah, cool. But uh, today, actually, I had I did music first. Had two cups of coffee this morning, and uh, did a little ukulele and hand pan. Did some DIY follow up, and then 
uh, our good friend Sam Montooth, who works at like three academies, uh, started another ukulele program and needed to order 45 ukuleles. So, um, so he basically came over and finally got the check. Schools are kind of slow, but he was supposed to, there. I don't know what happened, but he got a check and brought it in today. And actually tomorrow I'll probably go to Ohana and go pick up those ukuleles. So, so yeah, and I did that today. Talked to Sam. It was pretty cool. He deals with a lot of kids teaching ukulele. So I kind of want to get his insight. I said I wanted to like watch him <laughs> teach basically. <laughs> I just want to see what he goes through and stuff. So, and I know he goes through a lot cause he has a lot of kids. He's ordering 45 ukuleles, which is cool. But, um, yeah. And that was today. And then I came back to that appointment. And then I came back and then me and Carrie were just talking about it. Like next week, a week from today, we are on a plane to go to Hawaii. <laughs> it's my 50th birthday trip and we're leaving October 4th, which is next Monday. I was absolutely not ready for it and she's not ready for it either. It's kind of crazy. We were just talking about it because the last time we went to Hawaii, we went to Maui with uh, Dave, but we just got off, I think, a Europe trip, and then we were going on another trip, so it was kind of weird, and we actually missed the plane we were supposed to go. <laughs> uh, that's another story. We missed the plane, but got it rescheduled, so we, we got there a day late. It was crazy. But anyways, we made it. Um, but uh, yeah, we're leaving next week. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta start thinking of packing. I wasn't even thinking of that, and then I need to finish up some videos this week. Uh, let's see, got lessons for, I got lessons for uh, Maddie on Wednesday and then it's supposed to be ham pan weekend so I don't have to do anything there. So actually I got, that's cool. I got some time to finish some stuff. So yeah, I just got to think, it wasn't on my mind and I thought I was a little bit farther out but I didn't know. It was next week, so I'm not complaining. I'm going to Hawaii, so I'm excited, but um, I, I'm kind of not ready for it, but it's going to be nice again. <laughs> and I'll spend my 50th birthday there, and of course, I will film the whole thing. We're going to o Oahu, um, Turtle, staying in Turtle Bay, and um, I think for a week, and then going to Kauai for a week, so, and doing that, but it's going to be really fun, actually. <laughs> That's where I should take Carrie. <laughs> interesting. This is very interesting. I just had a thought. That's kind of crazy. But anyways, um, yeah, that's going to be next week. And so I got to get going on this stuff. It's kind of crazy. And yeah. And then right as soon as we get back, I know we're going to actually, we might have like kind of a working vacation because Carrie has some stuff she needs to do. And we're just bringing... We'll just be on the beach doing it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and when we just got our new client, so I need to help Stephanie and stuff like that. I want to start at least a video or something. So maybe this week, hopefully, I can get over there and uh, maybe start do some filming. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on this week. I'm excited. I think I'm really now excited that I'm talking about it is going to Hawaii. And that's going to be fun. So I got to start thinking of what I'm going to pack. <laughs> so, and I, we were checking out the weather. It's about 80 degrees, low of about 70, and it should be good. I'm trying to think of what else happened. I can always check on the next one, but actually, the next vlog will be the prelude to the Hawaii trip. So, and then I don't think I start vlogging or whatever. But I gotta, gotta start getting ready for that. But anyways, that's all I have for me today. And it is Monday, it is September 27th. It is 2021, it is vlog 135. Count down to my birthday, 50th year is coming up October 11th. I'm sure I will continue until the end of the year and after that. Who knows what I'll do. Um, but yeah, like always, it 
every day I like to say Keep on strumming, you go 